Hi folks, it's time for a portfolio update for 2020 and we're making some changes to our dividend stock portfolio. Welcome back to Easy Finances. I'm Wes and we're going over our video portfolio today. And if you're new to the channel, what we are doing, uh, we're putting $40 a week into our video portfolio. It's $20 on Monday and $20 on Thursday. And occasionally I'll be giving updates on that as well as uh, discussing some strategies. We are placing money in four different strategies down here and it's for the purposes of teaching, wealth building, cash flow, and retirement. We have over here growth, individual dividend portfolio, ETFs only, high dividend yield. Those are the strategies that we are covering and we've put 25% in each one of those and we will continue to do that. For today's update we'll start out with the overall picture. We are up 12.38%. That represents $25.33 in gain and earned dividends of $3.66. One year we see that it stays the same because it started in April of last year. So the, the one quarter we're up 10.88%, $14.28 gain with $1.16 earned in dividends. The one month we are up 4.92% that represents $10.24 in gains and 83 cents in earned dividends. The one week we are up 0.03% 0.08 cents 6 cents of that was earned dividends. So as you can see the dividends are starting to go up over time as we add more money to our positions and that is exactly what we want to do. Down here we see that uh, growth has just about overtaken our individual dividend picks. That's a little hurt to my ego because I like to think that I'm good at picking individual dividend stocks and uh, and riding that up. But uh, as we can see, growth is outpacing us at, at least for the for the near term. And if we open up our growth portfolio, we see that we've added a few and taken a couple away. Beyond Meat is the newest uh, addition, and I'll just go ahead and go into the activity to see what we've done over the last couple weeks. You see, we have dividends. Go ahead and take take a look at just the dividends here. Let's see, we've added quite a bit in dividends here. We got the VTI paid off. We got Golden Sachs, the bond ETF VYMI, which is the international high dividend yield ETF. Got quite a few payouts from different places. If we look at just the trading that we've done, we sold off Google and Microsoft, uh, Cedar Fair, and Verizon. Now the the reason that these changes happened was Google was not performing and I don't really see a lot of upside for it in the, in the near future so I just want to go ahead and, and take that out of the growth portfolio. Microsoft we already have that represented in a, another portfolio so went ahead and took it out. It, it was a duplicate basically. Same thing with Cedar Fair and Verizon. Verizon was uh, already in our one portfolio. We went ahead and took that out and and uh, left it in the other. Uh, as you can see we got some buys here. I'll scroll down the list so you can see. That's it for that particular one. Here we had 59 buys with a $20 that we put in there. And I'll just scroll down here so you can see what uh, what all those 59 buys were. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comments below. And I think that's it for the trading. Maybe this uh, this one right here since the last time we we did sell. I did sell off some stuff, and I did a video on 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 this particular one where we changed a lot of the allocations and and uh, took out some some of the companies and why we took those out. And please go ahead and, and find that in our last high dividend yield portfolio video section. And that's it. So overall, going forward with those changes that we've made, like I said, we've we've covered the growth portfolio. You can see what's in it: Tesla, Uber, Eli, which is Callaway Golf Company, Facebook, Nike. Amazon, Beyond Meat, Berkshire Hathaway, iRobot, and Microsoft. Now in this particular port portfolio we're not looking for uh, dividends but we do see that uh, that we do collect some dividends from from some companies so I know Eli pays out, Nike pays out, and I believe Microsoft as well. Now if we go to the ETF only portfolio we'll take a look we have VTI, BNDW for bonds, and VNQ for real estate. So we have the stock market, bonds, and real estate. You can see what they're up. And high dividend yield. We've I've just recently covered that, so I won't talk too much about this in uh, videos. You can see that we're down pretty pretty substantially on on BP there. So if we straighten out what our biggest gain is in is Philips 66. There's our portfolio for that. 
and individual dividend picks, which I am going to do a video on this in the near future. This is what I want to pick up on substantially for 2020, actually, and cover this in detail. You see it's got a pretty good return. Pretty good earned dividends, not quite as high as the high yield dividend ones, but uh, pretty good nonetheless. And here's what we have. I'll start with the gains up top. The biggest one, Starbucks, Lockheed Martin, MasterCard, Target. I'll just scroll down through here and you can see what we have. Now I'm going to look in, into this a little bit further and uh, do some pairing out of some of these, namely Target I think I see that I want to make a change to. We'll see what that is going to go to. And that's it for the video update. And like I said, if you have any questions, please put it in below. But uh, also hit the like button if you like this type of thing. If you, if you like what we're doing here, you want to see more of this, hit that like button. More people will watch it and it helps the algorithms. We can continue to grow this channel. And I'm looking forward to everything that we're doing here in 2020. And I thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.